Today, former Flint emergency manager Darnell Early stood in court and was formally charged in the Flint water crisis. Early ran the city after being appointed by Governor Snyder in 2013 and during the time of the city's switch to Flint water. Defender Kevin Dietz is following this from the newsroom. Kevin, these charges do come with some pretty stiff penalties. I know that much. Yeah, they sure do, Steve. Up to 20 years if he's convicted. But Darnell Early says he's not guilty and he plans to prove it in court. Darnell Early stands before a judge in a Flint courtroom. The former Flint emergency financial manager now officially charged in connection to the city's water disaster. Arraigned on false pretenses, conspiracy to commit false pretenses, misconduct in office, and willful neglect of duty while in office. If convicted, he could face up to 20 years in prison. Prosecutors allege Early improperly used money designated for natural disasters. Instead, the tens of millions of dollars that they borrowed went towards building the KWA, the Karagandi Water Authority. The move led to the use of the Flint water plant where water was not treated properly and residents were poisoned when lead pipes corroded. Darnell Early is the 13th person to be charged in the criminal investigation. Investigators say he won't be the last. There are some people out there right now uh, who know that they've done wrong and they know we're coming after them. They're not going to have a very Merry Christmas. Early did not speak to reporters today. His attorney, Todd Perkins, says Early will be vindicated, and they look forward to the facts coming out at trial. A probable cause hearing is set for January the 3rd. Kevin Dietz, Defenders. Kevin, we're coming up on one year almost for this investigation. Any indications as to when this could wrap up? Yeah, and it's cost taxpayers tens of millions of dollars already. You know, Governor Snyder's attorney fees alone are going to be three and a half million dollars, and he hasn't even been charged with any crimes yet. Investigators say they're well past the halfway mark. They should wrap this up in the next three to six months. Wow. All right, Kevin Dietz in the newsroom. Thanks, Kevin.